<laughs> well, how could anything negative stay on a rhythm like that in the harmonies? That what has kept this music strong for the uh, torchman for 40 years? Well, it's funny. I think God has been in this ministry for a long, long time. And it's when I started, it was gospel music, and now it's called Southern Gospel Music, Moira. So <laughs> changes, but it's still God's music, and I love to sing it. Yeah, and you've been singing it the longest here, Mike. Yeah, Mike Moran. Yes. From. Cambridge? I actually grew up in Cambridge, now live in St. Catharines. And you were right there in 69? Uh, I joined in 69, yes. When it kind of all got birthed. Now I want the rest of you to tell me your name, uh, where you're from, and how many years with the Torchman. Okay, well my name's Josh, uh, Josh Friend. I live in Kitchener, Ontario. Uh, I've been with the Torchman two years this October. What a nice last name. Well, I do what I can. Friend. <laughs> I'm Dave Randall. Uh, I've been with the group for four and a half years, and I live in a little town called Clarksburg, Ontario. And you teach music in public school. Yes, I do. That'll be fun. Hi, I'm Sandy McGregor. I, uh, I've been with the group probably around 10 years, three different decades, 80s, 90s, and 2000s. He keeps coming back. I keep coming back, they say. Can't stay away. And I'm from Kitchener, Ontario. <laughs> Well, we're going to do a little montage here. It's not a montage. We'll, do, we'll just look at some uh, mostly album covers. I think you'll be in all of them, yes, Mike. Yes, and I get older. <laughs> uh, but we'll see uh, it was some changing faces here. This, was this the very first album, Amazing no, Grace? No, actually, I think that's album number three. We had the bagpipes with that on that one with oh, Amazing right. Grace. I would have enjoyed that for sure. This that's Coming Home. Coming Home. In a Country Mood. More than you'll ever know. Quick story about that one, Moira. We were in Niagara Falls and went down to the gorge to have our picture taken. Oh. And you, you, you ever been down there? It's a little windy. Okay. So we, 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 back I've been in the, in the Alora Gorge. With the long hair. And then we had to come back up to get our pictures taken and fix our hair all back oh, up again. Oh, unfriendly. So. <laughs> no, no, not good. Now, oh, a lot of unfamiliar faces. Except that there's a gentleman here I went to Bible college with. Yeah, that's John Heisey back on the left-hand side. And he replaced his uncle in this group. That is correct. Yes, John Heisey. It gets confusing. <laughs> Forty years. Yes. It just seems like yesterday too, Myra. And you know what a horrible day yesterday was. <laughs> I don't mean that. <laughs> but God, is, God has blessed this group. I was just so fortunate. And the, these guys, I love these guys. They've become like my kids. And with the reunion coming up, I think we've got about 25 guys going to come back for our reunion in November. And I'm really excited about that. I didn't realize that. I knew it was a concert in honor of the 40 years, but all the singers, as many as can. As many as, can. as you can round up, yes, from wow. all across Canada. It's going to be really fun. It's in November. That's as a matter of uh, fact, in your church. It is. It's um, up the hill, so it's easy to find. If you know where Crossroads is, uh, right up there. <laughs> Kearns Road, Compass Point Bible Church. And uh, what's the date? November? November the 14th. Okay. You know, I, I come back to this significant moment. I honestly felt we were exploiting the man's pain when Zig Ziglar was here, but he was uh, here with his book, Confessions of a Grieving Christian. And as he listened to the, he's from te Texas, yes, so I mean yes, this yeah. sound is his heartbeat. And it was it's so unusual that we would have a Southern Gospel Quartet that day. And it really was just transformational for him. I think there were two songs before his interview and it changed him. Moira, I could, if we could go back, I could show you letters, etc., where people have gone off to commit suicide and had a tape in their car and listened to us sing and, and God has brought them back to them. So it's an amazing ministry. I've been so glad that God has blessed me to be in it this long and to have these guys to sing with. Well, I want you to mark your calendars for November 14th. And we'll have all that information on our website.